Promote control also allows to merge focus stacking technique with high dynamic range technique so that you can create focus stack images in HDR. The idea is simple. Instead of taking only one picture at each focus location, your camera will take many pictures per location. Then each image is merged into a high dynamic range image. And those HDR images in turn are processed in a focus stacking application to create a focus stacked HDR image. To create a high dynamic range focus stack, first we will configure the high dynamic range parameters using HDR screen. You already know that switching modes on promote control with mode button moves you around in modes. However, you can also switch modes backwards if you cho choose to hold left button and then click mode. And this will get us back to the HDR we just been in. Again, click mode to switch forward, hold left and click mode to switch backwards. This way you can switch between the two and you don't have to scroll all the way around. So we will configure our settings for the promote control in the HDR mode and start with a middle exposure of 1 200th. Choosing high dynamic range, high dynamic range settings uh, is a totally uh, different task. Uh, and normally uh, you would set your middle exposure as the ideal exposure for this particular scene and then step a few steps back and forth to bracket. And in this choice we would uh, go 1 200th one EV step and three exposures in total. And we may want to test our settings uh, first in order to ensure that our high dynamic range is what we expect it to be. And just click start here. Uh huh. Just like I said, it requires lens to be in manual focus for this particular exercise. So we will temporarily switch it back to manual focus and do the normal HDR. We may review the pictures on the camera to make sure this is what we expect them to be. And they look okay. After this, we click mode button to get back to the focus stacking mode. We will need to switch our lens back to automatic focus so that focus stacking succeeds. Activate focus stacking as before. Choose our endpoint. Reduce the amount of images to something more reasonable. Let's see, we only need four. And this time around, instead of leaving the exposure value in the on-camera setting, we will choose HDR. This will pick HDR settings we have just specified, and instead of making only one picture at every focus location, it will make so as many images in the HDR bracketing series as you specified in the HDR screen. So let's test that. Here's the wonders of automation at work. This concludes our today's session on focus staking. Uh, drop us a note if you like the way it worked, and if you don't, let us know why. You can also like us on Facebook or comment on your experience with the focus staking on our Facebook wall. Uh, thanks for watching, and have fun!